Hi everyone, it's Lindenherz. Yeah, I'm back. So after quite a while, this is actually not the first video I'm recording uh, since I was away. Uh, there is already one um, in the pipeline, uh, which I recorded last week or the week before with an unboxing. Um, but this is the video where, we'll, uh, where I will explain where I was, uh, where I will dive a bit into what all of that, what changed in my life. And you might hear I'm not so good in English anymore. <laughs> I still have to relearn to talk uh, English. Yeah, um, so as you can see here, um, a lot of things changed. <laughs> so we're not in or we're not living in our tiny flat anymore. Um, yeah, this is uh, part of the change uh, which stopped me last year in last year in summer to record further videos or new videos uh, because um, yeah um, there was um, uh, something happening in my family or in the family of my husband. His father got sick uh, by the end of July and. Um, had to go to hospital for further check-ins and uh, there they um, found out that uh, he got uh, yeah fatal cancer so the last stage so to speak and um, we brought him home and um, nursed him here uh, the whole family nursed him which was really impressive to see because it's not normal anymore not normal anymore sadly that um, old people or sick people can die at home. And uh, that's what he was, um, he had the privilege to do that, uh, if you can talk about privilege in this case. Um, um, he it was three weeks or so until he passed away and it was an intense period of time and um, yeah, but after that, um, all the big work started because we knew, okay, we will inherit uh, the um, family house with um, my uh, sister-in-law. So we're sharing house together. Uh, we're in the basement. Uh, you could say basement, at Um And uh, it's not the basement. So she's, she's living upstairs and we're uh, uh, downstairs, so to speak. And uh, where I'm recording this is my personal private witchy room now, which is in, um, this is in the basement, so in the cellar, so to speak, cellar. And um, I renovated that room last year. It was full of stuff before, but then um, I started and with the help of my husband, um, we transformed it and oh, now it's my witchy room, my refuge. <laughs> my uh, little den, my crafting room, etc. I'm having a bigger altar space now, much bigger than before. Um, and still, I might, yeah, I still have a problem with space. So uh, beware when you give me space because I'm spreading everywhere my stuff. Well, anyway, it's still fabulous to have this big space. Um, so. It was, I have to be honest, it was hard and um, sad for me to leave the tiny flat. It's, like I said, it's perfect to have more, more space. Um, but what I created and also my husband created there in the tiny flat was uh, uh, a home of our own making. This place here is still in the making, so to speak. We didn't do a lot of things, so we rearranged certain furniture, brought in our furniture, threw away old stuff that nobody wanted anymore. And um, still there is more room for creative endeavors, so to speak, in terms of living uh, space and uh, how you want to um, make it more your own home. Um, still, I miss uh, the tiny flat, really, I have to admit that. And when uh, we had to cancel our contract, do you say that contract about when you're uh, renting a flat? I'm not sure. 
um, when we, um, yeah, cancelled it, uh, I had a good cry uh, that night after, and um, yeah. Yeah, so this was one of the changes, and it was uh, stressful last uh, last Christmas and last year. It was very stressful because we had to um, uh, renovate uh, the um, the old flat and um, move our stuff here and so on and so forth. Well, um, after that, um, the next hard stuff hit us uh, and especially me um, some of you might uh, remember my dog Lily um, which was already an elderly dog when uh, I started YouTubing and you might have seen her in uh, various videos and uh, photos as stuff maybe also on Instagram and those of you who follow me on Instagram will know a bit more um, that um, she started to get really get old so to speak um, uh, by the by our last vacation uh, on our beloved um, North Sea Island um, she started to get really um, having problems and um, in by by I guess by February we knew that she has had uh, arthrosis do you say that in English is it the right pronunciation um, so she wasn't able to to walk anymore uh, really properly and um, you started to see that her spirit was fading away so she became less and less and it was gosh what it was so hard to witness this it was so hard and it was heartbreaking and I had my I had a good hearty cry and uh, realizing and accepting it um, that this would be the final stage of her life that uh, I will, won't it was it was quickly clear that she wouldn't make another year and um, so the last uh, especially the ha first half of 2019 was nursing my dog and maybe some people who don't have a dog uh, think yeah okay it's a dog or something but it was hard to witness um, this and to to deal with this uh, because she was always so very um, uh, alive so so long for so long so she started getting um, older so to speak older and, um, don't uh, didn't want to go out uh, anymore when she was around I guess 16 or something so before that everything she was wild at heart she was like a little puppy sometimes uh, but then she declined uh, quite fast and um yeah and and she made it almost to her 18th birthday not really fully so last um last may uh, on the 13th of may she uh we had to we had to help her over uh, the rainbow bridge um, uh, yeah so to speak because uh, we knew that she wasn't able to um, to live a good life so the quality of life or the quality of living was um, was not there anymore and we had to um, yeah we had to put her in, uh, to sleep and um, but it was here, it was in the garden under the cherry tree, it was great, a uh, beautiful uh, spring day and um, I, uh, with, with Henrik together with my husband, we uh, prepared her, her grave and um, I buried her with, um, with lint leaves, with uh, hazel leaves and lilacs that were blooming that uh, day and also with hawthorn, with flowering, uh, hawthorn flowers and so on and with her beloved toy and uh, it was quite fast but it was, uh, it was, um, it was hard, it was uh, quite hard because almost 18 years she was with me since she was Eight weeks or so and uh, it was hard and I promised myself bef even before that that I wouldn't have another dog before two years would have passed 
well, I should have known myself better. Um, because um, Lily was my second dog, or Lily. And um, before that, uh, my childhood dog, Monia, was, um, yeah, was with me for 13 and uh, a half years. And after that, I only, it only took four days or something until I got Lily. And um, it was okay back then. I had struggles with that uh, at the first and I wasn't sure to keep Lily and so on. Uh, but then um, uh, it was, it turned perfectly well and it was super cool and I, I loved her to bits. Yeah, well, I waited a bit longer until a new puppy came into our lives. Um, uh, well, I guess it was until she moved in um, six weeks or so, but uh, it only took three days or two days until I, uh, after the death of Lily, um, um, until I started searching again. Well, you could say I tried to not film the pain uh, uh, of losing Lily um, could be a big reason for that and in hindsight I'm quite sure it was the case um, and I have to say it wasn't an easy start with a new puppy I have to say so because um, uh, um, the puppy that I choose it was a quite it was quite difficult to choose the right puppy it was a uh, there was three puppies um and uh of one how you call it wolf uh litter litter and um i was back and forth bec uh, between two puppies uh, the third was already claimed and then i chose uh, uh the one i am having now so uh it's uh Australian shepherd mix and tibetan terrier mix uh and i named her momo after one of my favorite books by uh, Michael Ende or Michael End, I don't know if you call this in English like that, and um, the the book Momo, which I can highly highly recommend to read this book. So besides the Never Ending Story, this is one of my favorite books. And uh, yeah, and uh, Momo turned out to be a f at first she was when I visited her breeder and her mom and so on. Uh, she was really one of the quietest in the in the litter and then uh she turned out to be uh the most wild at heart i'm not sure about her other uh, siblings uh, other two sisters uh from what i've heard uh, they are quite wild as well so uh, but it it hit me <laughs> it knocked me off my feet too so to speak and i really suffered uh, the first weeks from and i never knew that this is a uh, this is a thing um from puppy blues this is a thing you really can uh, get a lot of information about that, especially in English, not so much in German, uh, but in English, there was a lot of information about puppy blues. So the regret and uh, the overwhelm of re uh, responsibility. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, it was hard. It was really hard. Uh, and uh, in addition to that, she d started to be a little land shark so uh, a little plushy uh, monster with uh, very sharp teeth so everyone who has a puppy knows uh, about the pain of baby teeth dogs baby or puppy baby teeth and um yeah it was the case and it took a while to um and it i really was often uh, regretting and thinking is was it the right choice was it the right thing to get a new puppy and I knew um, now um, I can ask myself that over and over again, but I made the um, experiences now with her and uh, it's, yeah, it's, um, I made it with, um, made my experiences and I would have had that uh, if I wouldn't have chosen, uh, chosen a new puppy. So um, it's, um, it's uh, it's bullshit to to ask myself the questions if I would be happier without a dog. So uh, um, it, it would have been quite sure that I would uh, still search for a new dog even if I uh, uh, if it would have to, to uh, taken longer. That makes sense. <laughs> My uh, crap, crappy English. So um, anyway, um, it's 
getting better um, and I've learned a lot of things now with the new puppy, especially because I uh, thought um, to myself and said to myself, um, I will do it better with this puppy because um, with Lily it was okay, but um, it would have been great if I would have visited dog school or something. It wasn't available, so a puppy school or something, a puppy kindergarten. Um, when she was little, but with the new dog, we wanted to do that. And it is really a great idea to do it because she is a wild child, a wild fire spirit, uh, really. Maybe it's her Australian Shepherd uh, blood that is in there. Although um, the, um, her mother was uh, also an Australian Shepherd mix, very much Australian Shepherd looking or uh, look alike, but um, her father was a purebred, so a purebred Tibetan Terrier, uh, and they're not so white, I've heard. It's a new breed, I've never heard before of them, but, uh, well, now I have a plush monster. Um, uh, she has learned bite inhibition, as you call this. Um, now she's not uh, nibbling at me, uh, at my, yeah, at my fingers and stuff uh, anymore. But my husband, because he wasn't that um, consequent <laughs> with her, <laughs> but it's 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 got it's got better. But still, she is quite um, a child to a, a dog child to. Um, it takes energy. It takes <laughs> energy, and I sometimes need my time out. So this is actually my time out now, and uh, the dog dad is now uh, taking care of her and keeping her occupied and so on and so forth. She's now uh, six months old and uh, she's with us since she, is, she, she was eight months. So she came to us the day after the summer solstice. Yeah, and um, well, this was a quite, it was, it was quite a journey. Yeah, and I have to say, uh, it was, um, up until now, 2019 and the second half of, um, not necessarily the second half, so 2018 and 19 for now, uh, proved to be quite exhaustive, so quite overwhelming. I've learned a lot. No, this is definitely what uh, that I've, it's really, really, um, I've learned a lot. <laughs> I've put it like this. And um, new things, new revelations, some revelations that were hard to uh, swallow. Um, some things I still learn um, and learn new things every day um, in terms of, uh, in terms of uh, puppy training. And uh, it's really awesome uh, to do that and uh, seeing that um, learning how to control your body language uh, can have an influence on your dog and um, this is something uh, would have been great to do that with Lily as well. Um, well, now is the time to do it uh, better or to it in a different way. Uh, yeah, so this was quite uh, one and a half years. No, no, not, not necessarily one and a half, one year, so I should say. That was quite hard. Um, um, last year was also the year where I, um, yeah, got a bit more aware of my uh, privilege or privileges as a white person. Um, started to get into the, um, yeah, an, into anti-racism work. Um, last year I participated, last year in summer I participated um, in a um, really unique and uh, this was really a challenge. This is really what I would call a challenge in its exact wording. Uh, it, it was called uh, Me and White Supremacy. It was hosted by um, uh, Laila Saad on, uh, um, on Instagram and back then she was, her old Instagram name was White Mystic Woman. And this was a, a really an intense, intense uh, time to get more into anti-racism and to uh, face my own inherited prejudices. So uh, 
that are uh, culturally influenced, uh, uh, that are influenced by living in a predominantly white society here in a white neighborhood, predominantly white neighborhood, and um, what this makes with uh, with me. Uh, um, that racism is nothing for, oh, you're a Nazi or something, uh, or you must be a bad person. I'm not a bad person, so I cannot be racist. No, that is sadly not the case. You can also be that and be a nice person. <laughs> and um, it was hard to face that, but it was really eye-opening in a good way and, and also also in a hard way, so in both ways. And uh, last year... Um, I also started um, working with the content of Lisa Renee Hall also on uh, Instagram and she um, um, I, I supported her on uh, Patreon which you can also do and um, used her expressive writing prompts uh, to dismantle your unconscious privileges in terms of gender, race and um, uh, body, uh, class uh, money and so on. Um, it was really also great, uh, great. Uh, it's it's great content, and it's great content to uh, um, think about your own privileges and um, even even pri privileges, even if you're not. Uh, uh, you you might be someone who had n never had much money or something, but still you can have. Um, you have privilege, and the privilege is this, the privilege of uh, skin color. And um, it was um, it was interesting, it was in, uh, intense, and so on. Also, in terms of gender and so on, this is something I, all, uh, I, I only started um, to get more into the, or know more about the struggles of the LGBT community and uh, getting aware of that. Um, so this was really an intense um, year so far, with also with these um, things, and to, to learn more about this thing, uh, these uh, these things, also uh, in regards to the climate that is um, the political climate here in my country in Germany, which is also getting uh, yeah challenging so to speak and it also was inspired you could say inspired by certain worldviews and my family-in-law and uh, this is a struggle i still don't uh, love to attend um, uh, um, family parties or something because there are certain family members who cannot or aren't able to shut their yeah, you know what I mean, and have to uh, uh, have to tell everyone what they are thinking about certain people, and um, this is all. And I'm not, I'm not the best to take it in calmly and then um, articulate my uh, uh, my opinion in a quiet way in a nice manner. I'm not that type of person, sadly still hope to learn that so maybe i will still have this on my agenda to um to uh be more calm and to be more eloquent with my words and don't uh, get super upset and angry at the person so um yeah i know when i uh when i'm leaving when it's best to leave the room so um and uh or start starting to change the subject but this was also part of the inspiration. Well, yeah, um, I guess um, I will. I'm not sure if I will attach it here. Maybe a photo or something from uh, uh, for my new dog at the end. Change subject again <laughs> at the end to be a bit more lighter at the end. Um, or if I will make a little video and will uh, make a little collage video of all the. The, the little things uh, I've uh, recorded of my puppy and I also try at one point maybe I will be strong enough I will make a little uh, I wanted to make a little music video of uh, my favorite uh, moments with Lily so this will also be part of 
yeah, part of uh, new YouTube videos. Um, like I said, uh, there is an unboxing coming um, soon. And this unboxing, uh, it will be a tarot deck again, and some a tarot deck I waited long for a long time. Uh, I've also uh, told you in the video that I've have uh, that I have ideas for new videos, and um, that. But I'm not sure how and when I'm able to make it. Not how, but when I'm able to make it, because I'm living now uh, in the family house. It's not always quiet. Sometimes you might hear something here because uh, the windows are not too thick here in the cellar and uh, sometimes you might hear this or if you hear some kind of uh, flushing noise this might be the toilet upstairs <laughs> that you might hear through the wall or coming through the wall this sound and um, well yeah and at one point I will give you a tour of my room but at the moment this area looks most pretty <laughs> the rest is creative chaos so to speak so um, yeah um, I'm happy to be back. I will see what stuff, what content will uh, come up. Um, at one point, I'm surely I will do also some garden stuff because now I have a garden. <laughs> now I can gar uh, uh, can do gardening on a bigger level. So we have now a tomato greenhouse. We have a raised bed and veg this summer and a herbal bed and so on and so forth. So there will be more things to come but probably only in uh, not before uh, spring or something so we will see what content will come up and uh, how often I'm able to to present it but this is so to speak this kind of hello I'm back here and I'm still living and uh, it's um, I'm so so far I'm okay there I have my struggles uh, but I have my strategies to deal with them and maybe at one point I will talk about that in a video but I'm not sure at the moment uh, I have to be more clear about how uh, I want to be vocal about this so um, happy to be back and um, up until the next video bye